When he was 14 years old, Ryan Bliss replied to a Seattle Mariners tweet stating that it would be his dream to play for the Seattle Mariners. Flash ahead 10 years and he would again reply to the Seattle Mariners, this time stating that his dream had come true. May 27th, 2024, Ryan Bliss would make his MLB debut with the Seattle Mariners. And on the first pitch in his first game, he would have a defensive opportunity and record a put out to start his MLB career. Yes, sir. The ball will find you, Dave. I'm telling you. <laughs> How many times have you, you seen can, that, right? You can't make it up. You really can't. Ryan Bliss is a solid defender at second base and shortstop, but his true ability is at the plate and on the base paths. In his 2023 minor league campaign, he was on pace for 29 home runs and 70 stolen bases if he were playing a 162 game season. And before getting the call to Seattle, he was leading all of AAA minor league baseball with 28 stolen bases so far this year. Acquired in the trade that sent Paul Sewell to the Diamondbacks in 2023, this is the story of Mariners infielder Ryan Bliss. But before we do, this video is sponsored by myself, the Couch GM. I am a full-time mortgage loan originator during the day. By night, I'm a baseball Mariners YouTuber. Every sports fan needs to find a living room to call their own, to watch their favorite team on their big screen. So if you or someone you know is thinking of buying, selling, or refinancing, make sure to reach out to myself, the Couch GM, or visit leonardconnorweb.com to hit a home run with your mortgage financing needs. Now let's get back into the story of Ryan Bliss. Ryan Bliss grew up in LaGrange, Georgia, where he attended Troop County High School. After hitting eight home runs his senior year, he was named an All-American by Rawlings Perfect Game and would be selected in the 30th round of the 2018 MLB Draft by the Boston Red Sox. He would decide not to sign with the Red Sox and instead attend Auburn University. At the time, he was ranked as the second best shortstop and 15th best overall player in the state of Georgia and ranked as the 96th best player in the country by perfect game. And at just 5'9", 165, he stood out defensively and his bat had pop. He was also 64 of 66 in stolen base attempts in his high school career. Ryan secured the starting shortstop role his freshman year at Auburn, and he would be the only player to start in all 66 games that season. He was second on the team with a 281 batting average, also second in runs, third in RBIs and stolen bases, and tied for third in hits on the team. He was also just one of three position players named to the SEC All-Freshman team. His sophomore year in the shortened 2020 COVID season, he was named third team All-America after playing and starting in all 18 games at shortstop, leading the team in ranking sixth in all of college baseball with 29 hits. He had a 377 batting average and didn't commit an error in 58 chances at shortstop by the time the season was canceled. In his third and final year at Auburn, his junior season, he became the fourth two-time All-American in program history. He finished with a 365 batting average with 15 home runs, 45 RBIs, and he would finish this season with over a 500 batting average against fastballs 95 miles an hour or faster. He said in interviews that he just tries to get the barrel to the ball. The pitcher provides the power, he just needs to find the barrel. He said that in college he watched a lot of Mookie bets. As both himself and Mookie are considered undersized players, Mookie's listed at 5'9 and Ryan Bliss is somewhere around 5'6 or 5'7. And yet Mookie is able to generate a lot of power by really getting into his lower half and again finding that barrel. Ryan would go on to be drafted in the second round with the 42nd overall pick in the 2021 MLB Draft by the Arizona Diamondbacks. Over the next couple years, he would progress throughout rookie ball and high A, and in his first full season in professional baseball, he started to swipe more bags with the Hillsboro Hops. He'd end up hitting 10 home runs with 31 stolen bases. However, he'd finish with just a 214 batting average, after which he would state that he was just trying to figure it out at the plate. And in the 2023 season, he figured Blizzard's it out. Hit high and fairly deep to left field. Going back is Carter, he'll have no chance at it one. It's up the 2-1 pitch, here it is. Breaking ball and that slap towards right field. Carter moving back, still going, looking up and it's gone! And he hammers it to left. This one is a no-doubter, a Bliss missile over. Bar 352, Amarillo's on the board. The totality of his 2023 campaign across AA and AAA, he would hit 304 with a 378 on base percentage. 23 home runs with 55 stolen bases, which since he played in 128 games, would be on pace for 29 home runs and 70 stolen bases in a full MLB season. Bliss, high fly ball, out towards left, moving back is Butler, he's at the wall, and 
and that ball is gone. He'd be named a starter in the All-Star Futures game, which was hosted in Seattle, Washington. He got one AB in that game, and behind home plate was a potential future teammate in Harry Ford. If he wasn't already on the Mariners radar, this was a free scouting opportunity. And by the time the trade deadline rolled around, Jerry Depoto knew he wanted this guy. Paul Sewald would be sent to the Arizona Diamondbacks and in return would be Ryan Bliss, Dominic Canzone, and Josh Rojas. And Bliss grounded to first to open the ball game, swings and crushes this one way back there. And Chris Wright jogs back to the warning track just to admire it. It's a home run for Ryan Bliss. Bliss is a legit power speed guy with a solid eye at the plate. So far this year, he was approaching a one-to-one -one ratio on strikeouts to walks. And that's something that he's been more intent on working on. So be on the lookout for Ryan Bliss the rest of this year. And if you look away for a second, you might just miss him. Whether he's stealing second base, third base, hitting a home run, this guy is going to have impact for the Mariners. Left field, Dahl is back, going to the wall, and it is gone. A grand slam for Ryan Bliss. Thank you for watching, and go check out one of these videos right here.